do 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 I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Mercs, Mark here, and we are playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. We are fighting the Scorpion Sentinel, and this is a big, long, huge, complicated battle that moves all over the place. But I'm going to try and help you out. I have a couple tips that will hopefully help you out and make it a little easier. So he has a really strong physical attack resistance. But regardless, we're still going to be really aggressive so we can build up that ATB meter. We're going to need it because... Um, we're gonna do a lot of attacks and we're gonna apply a lot of pressure. So he's weak to lightning and Barrett has a lightning skill. We're gonna be we're gonna be using that not just to attack it, but also to help Cloud escape when he gets captured. Um Cloud has a fire spell, we're gonna use in a targeting system. So all that stuff is really important. And it's a lot. It's a lot to keep in mind when we're fighting our first boss fight. So like it says down there, lightning magic, that's all Barrett. So you can see he has a pretty good pool of magic points. Um, so we should be able to cast it several times throughout the battle. Um, now, when in the first phase, it's going to cost... It does cost five magic points, but we're going to use it in the first phase a couple times because it's a great way to get him to sort of stun him so we can get in there and use Punisher Mode. So remember, when you use Punisher Mode, which is the triangle button, you want to use it when you're close because there's not a lot of mobility compared to the operator mode. So, But you can dish out a lot of damage. So you can sort of see that his stagger meter is sort of building up pretty quickly there. So um, it's important to use it as much as you can. But if you need to get around the battlefield, then we're going to switch over to operator. Now, if you look, you can see the ATB meter is built up. So when that happens, um, go ahead and use one of your abilities. Um, that yellow line at the bottom there, that's our stagger gauge. And that's really important. So when it says pressured at the bottom, that means that we've sort of staggered it a little bit and it's more susceptible. So you just have to unleash and basically stick to Punisher mode and uh, unleash as much damage as possible. Now, when it flies up like this, really Barrett's the only one that can attack it. But I, I like to stay on Cloud. Um, by the way, you can switch in between the characters with the D-pad left and right if you wish but i like to stick with cloud and dodge those missiles if you can you kind of have to block them now once we reach 80 percent health we're going to enter phase two phase two he's going to move to the other side of the battlefield so when we're running down here don't forget he's going to launch some rockets so just press forward and hit the the circle button that's our dodge to get away from him now you see that little kind of glow there's a force field on the Sentinel. So um, what we want to do is focus on the little generator in the back. So that's why I'm positioned in the back here. I'm trying to focus my attack on that field generator, but you kind of have to keep your distance. Um, so the fire spell is what we're going to use to sort of damage that field generator. And it's going to take a, t a couple attacks, but we want to build up our ATB points um, so that we can get in there and um, use our magic on that field generator so we have to disable it so you can also have barrett um you can have barrett use his lightning here to attack the field generator which will make everything uh, a little easier now i'm scooting around back because you sort of it y your spell can get blocked by some of the legs and stuff so you kind of have to navigate and move your way around you can see the shield is now down so we're trying to sort of unleash as much as possible again when the boss is on the other side of the room, we sort of want to um, squeeze that uh, the block button, which is R1, and just try to block those incoming missiles. You can try to run around the battlefield, but I just didn't have much, much success. You may. You might have some success, but I did not. So it appears that blocking is probably the best way to go. And make sure you're in operator mode, because if you're not, um, you're not going to be able to move around very quickly. You can see I'm moving around back again. We're trying to get that stagger gauge, which is basically like a posture. We're trying to get it maxed out as much as possible. So there, now you can see, we need to use our fire and our lightning spell on that field generator because we can't do any physical damage to it now. So the reason why that's grayed out, if you go to use your attacks and it's grayed out, um, that's basically because your ATB gauge, you don't have enough points in it yet. So you can either just run around the battlefield or you can try to do some physical attacks. But 
The safest thing to do is to sort of run circles around the boss. Now, don't forget that Barrett, um, his lightning spell is going to be the most effective on this. So you want to make sure that as soon as his, uh, his attack meter is up, that you use lightning. You should really only have to use it maybe two or three times, but you also want to make sure you spread out the use of your magic points. Now, when, he, when you see that glow on the ground, you want to make sure you back up from the boss because he does this sort of EMP uh, attack and it will damage you and push you back. So keep an eye on your health because I actually, I mean, this, bat this battle's really tough for the first boss fight. I mean, it's, it's essentially four phases and there, he has a ton of armor. So there's just a lot to do and there's a lot of things to look out for. Now you can see he's staggered and you see that 160% so we could do more damage. So you want to try and unleash as much as you can. Now we're at 50% 50, 50 health. So now we're entering phase three. And phase three, I, phase three might actually be a little easier than the previous two phases. Um, you can see all this debris that's falling. So we're actually going to use the debris to dodge his big attack. And his big attack looks basically like this. He's going to be drawing a bunch of energy. So there's always going to be debris on the battlefield like this. So you kind of want to run behind it. And then we're just going to kind of hang out here. And this is a really good opportunity to use our items and heal ourselves. So keep an eye on your health meters. You can see I just healed Cloud. And I'm going to heal Barrett here too, just to make sure that I get their uh, health up. Because it can get a little crazy. Okay, so there's no force field. So we're going to get in there, switch over to Punisher mode, and try to do as much damage as you can. Ah, he hit me right when I was about to use him, one of my abilities. Now, when he's he's firing like that, you can switch between the characters and sort of let the AI take over, because the AI does a pretty good job of blocking. But again, this is a good opportunity to use Thunder, because when you, when you hit him with Thunder, it sort of stuns them, and you can get in there with Cloud and switch over to um, Punisher mode, and then just start going in with combos, using abilities, I like uh, Force Thrust because it's just sort of straight and sort of pins you to uh, the bad guy, which allows you to sort of stick there and do more damage afterwards. Like, the animation isn't quite as long. Okay, so we're sort of nearing the end of Phase 3 here, but he gets, he gets pretty aggressive um, with his EMP, so just try and keep an eye on that. Keep your distance, but then going back in when you can. So yes, let's go ahead and hide behind the debris. And again, this is a good opportunity for us to heal. So once he's done his attack, yes, heal up. But once he's done his attack, get in there and be really aggressive. You can see his stagger meter is about 40%. Um, and we're pulling back and keeping an eye. You just got to wait for that glow and do a much better job than I did. Because clearly I <laughs> have been hit by that EMP blast just about every time, but you can do better than I did. Um, so when you see the screen is red like that, that means, yes, you got to uh, try and heal yourself as quickly as possible. Um, the cure spell does uh, heal more, I think, than the actual, the, uh, the basic potions that you get. But it also uses MP, so uh, I tend to use uh, the potions just because they're not eating away at the MP because you want to save the magic points for your fire spell and lightning. Okay, so we're probably at about 20% health here. So we're, this is probably the last time we're going to get this opportunity to heal ourselves. Once we get that final blast, again, we're going to be aggressive and we're going to get in there. Um, if you can, try to save a few magic points for the very last fourth phase um, because that one, that phase is tricky, which is actually going to happen right about now. So, like I was saying, try to save at least some magic points for the final phase because he's going to do this, he's going to do this repair and we want to stop him as quickly as possible and lightning is really good for that. So he's going to go a little crazy here and he's going to start being a little aggressive, but first thing he's going to do is going to try and repair himself. You're going to see that green glow. So try to get in there with both your guys and try to hit him up as much as you can. Use lightning with Barrett. 
um, and try to use your abilities with Cloud. Switch in the Punisher mode, and you also have to try to avoid those pesky bombs and the missiles that he's firing and the, the fire on the ground. But keep pressing, keep going, you will get it. Focus on the left leg or the right leg. Don't have one character attack one leg or the other. Have them both focus on one leg. Because the one leg, it's, once you get one of the legs down, it's gonna make a big difference. Um, you can see me here using lightning on the left leg and then focusing the other attacks on left leg. And you see him power down like that. That's when you get an opportunity to really press. I mean, you can see his health is barely going down, but what we're doing is applying pressure to his stagger meter or the posture meter, as I like to call it. Um, and then when we get that up, he's sort of he's sort of doomed. And we can go in there and pretty much destroy him. You can see I'm about to use fire. So we're down to one more leg, and then he is he is staggered. So we're gonna go in and basically use everything we can to take care of him. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.